You think say it's Sabi Nigeria music? Old school or new school? Come show yourself for Gusto gets the song. You go win better, better. Call the number where they appear for your screen. So, Nigeria music can't win money. Hello guys, welcome to Gusto Reactions once again. Thank you so much for always liking. <laughs> Which energy you want? No way, no way, Make a shout. No shout. Welcome to Gusto Reactions once again. Thank you so much for always liking and sharing, subscribing, doing what you do to support the uh brand yes we love and appreciate you big lala is right in the building today and of course um ruga and rema two major major guys running the streets yeah. uh running the um, online uh street actually uh right now ruga has one of the biggest songs in the country um at the moment yes. and um, i can tell you for a fact that uh, you know it's doing much more than even i expected we bounce it. yes <laughs> you know we bounce yeah. and a lot of people are you know thinking okay maybe this guy has song of the year and everything is it a contender for song of the year already of course it's a contender like for so for a song um i mean it has a niche of kind of like fan base or mm. kind of a grade of people or the demography of people that mm -hmm. that like that song and are very young people the same people that like this other guy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean they love this boy I'm seeing videos, I'm seeing him going to several schools, yeah. doing shows, and people are singing what for Even grown ups in the Big Brother Nigeria, yeah, so yeah. doing the party, yeah. whenever that bounce came up, you can see people else enjoy the song. Yeah. And I mean, that was promotion gone right for, 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 for the Maven. Mm -hmm. And congrats to uh, Uga. Okay, are you trying to give credit to Maven right now or Johnson World? They're one of the same now. Not be the same thing. Not be the same. <laughs> same. Be the same. Anyways, uh, Ruga and you know uh, Rema actually originally yeah. belong to um, Jonesy World. That's uh, the the Prince. Now, when the Prince um, started the music thing, yeah. a lot of people actually felt this guy no sabi, like you know. So you know sabi like like, like what's this guy like what's this guy doing? He should because of likes of one call the band you know at the record label at, at that time so he you know was classified as that guy who didn't know so much and everything and he should um he should stop music basically or he was blowing because of his brother not, at that time not particularly people, yeah people may have mm -hmm. that way that yeah part. but let's not forget that in terms of the rappers on the label at the time yeah. I mean, Kechuku was not officially official on the yeah. was just a friend of the and family. And K-Switch? K-Switch was more of a dancer kind of mm. guy doing his yeah. rap thing. I mean, this guy was one that represented the rap thing. But he didn't even rap. No. He didn't rap. He, did. Like, he did not rap. He did. He did not rap. He did not rap. He did not rap. As basic as the lyrics was mm. i'm not the prince when mm. he started with with with, with, the, with the with the what's it called the the, the bunch yeah more heat yeah. Yeah. yeah he was he was initially a rapper yeah and then he started i mean improving as an all-round artist mm. aside from doing his own songs mm. doing nice songs even yeah. better songs than some of the uh the biggest names at, yeah. at that time the prince went uh you know off the radar you know for a long time yeah. but he came through uh, in 2019 with rema without okay um is he now an artist manager and an AR or you know talent in you know, the sport or a developer mm -hmm. he's done quite well with uh you know rema yeah. and right now ruga the same thing you know i mean dropping eps for rema and all of that right now with ruga two major stars on that prince yeah. would you say that this guy is not getting enough credit well he's not putting himself out there for one how a lot of people only, don't you know that a lot of people don't really know that oh this is this guy's actually john's in world Mm. Only people who are really really interested uh in what the, the like, music that, circle yeah the music circle would point to the fact where every name would think is it's a don jazzy sign you think it's mm. a maybe sign mm. but nobody really pays attention to the structure of what they have in play yeah chosen what being like a sub a sub label yeah and maybe being the parent label i would say they are more of the same thing but um, i mean for people who understand how it works 
they know that yes, it's Josie World uh, first when it comes to deals, and then the label, I mean, the mm. parent company gets the cut of it as they're mm. using their infrastructure and everything to push them. Do well, you think this guy, you know, uh, is uh, well underappreciated for spotting our talent actually? For someone who has been criticized a lot of times for, oh, ah, music has not been that, even if I think that he's done a couple of very dope records in the past. Yeah. Uh, this guy, two major talent this guy is on his way to you know maybe getting the you know rookie of the year then maybe later eddie's you know mm-hmm. next rated or something it's been quite underappreciated no i wouldn't say it's been underappreciated maybe do, do, does maybe appreciate him i would say yes they do mm. because the, the public the public eh, he's not putting himself out there like he's playing the role at the i mean at the back he's not trying to take any credit for anything mm. if you know bc uh who, who was on that media interview was it Vema? I said that in his interview that oh, when the, the prince came to make discovered me, yeah, yeah, that he said it was okay, that he was, he was already making some money, and the prince was like, oh my, leave what you are doing and come and join me, mm-hmm. and let's rule over the, the entertainment uh, mm-hmm. scene. So a lot of these stories we don't get to hear. I think what you're trying to say is perhaps the guys in the media circles need to spotlight him more. Mm. He's not, he's not putting himself out there. Maybe his PR is not good enough. No, maybe that perhaps that's what he wants. He doesn't want to be. In the limelight, he doesn't want to. All that is important to him is his boys are doing good and he's cashing out. That's the cocoa for him, mm-hmm. and, and I feel that's that's a smart way to be. Nobody to put eye on him and be like, oh, yeah. is it this or is it that? Mm. And then keep on doing this. And the music has stopped for him as well. The music stopped. I mean, it, it, I don't think he even wanted to do it. He's just he's graduated from being a wannabe musician to now an A now and also a label boss. Yes, wannabe. Yes, wannabe musician. It's not. It's not like music was his passion from 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 time before. Now. Mm. Everyone knew that it was it was a family thing. The same way K Switch and the Bunch mm. was a family thing. Yeah. Like, okay, she be used to do come now. They, yeah. it, it was yeah. more of a family thing for yeah. for them. Yeah. Everyone know Don Jazzy is the talent. Uh, the talent in the family when yeah. it comes to music. Mm. But not saying the place didn't have ears for good music. He also does have. That's where his talent lies, and mm-hmm. he's now capitalizing on that, getting talent, nurturing, and making them stars. So are we saying that um, you know. Are you saying that if we actually have like stars who want to blow up in Nigeria, this guy is more like the perfect, right, you know, yes. avenue? On a common word, that mm. people say, uh, you're back yeah. to say, are we? Yeah. I mean, several roads lead to the, to the market. To the market. Several roads lead to the promised land. Yeah, for Nigeria, artists. Nigeria. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, case switch. You mm-hmm. can go several routes. Or the prince, rather. Yeah, the prince, rather. Yeah. So that's all it is. Okay, well, um, Ruga, Rema, the prince. Uh, what's the next level for these guys? No, this guy, who guy is already scratching his surface. Yeah, Rema is at the mid level yeah. surface right now and is about to hit that top, mm-hmm. top level. I mean, they just started, and this they're a handful of this, the kind of success they're getting. They are copying the, the minds of young, the young generation. Mm-hmm. That's the important generation, whether people like it or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe when it comes to digital, but when it comes to spending money in shows and things like that, that's where I mean, your kind of generation comes. Yeah. Like Someone was talking on Twitter saying that uh, a lot of you know these top artists should uh, maybe learn it, you know, too from the prince. Uh, do you think that you know it's that's a valid statement? Well, we, the prince is. I don't think he could have done it by himself. Yeah, mm. it needed like someone who had already seen it all, done it all, managed it all. Don Jazzy, Don Jazzy, and who has set up the moving and had a lot of experience in, mm-hmm. that, in that field. Mm-hmm. He needed someone like that to guide, and because it's a family thing, they're able to. I mean, make it favorable for everyone involved. Yeah. With, the prince yeah. having his Johnson world thing, yeah. and then they know how the partnership works and everything. Yeah. So I yeah. think that's that's where it's uh, <coughs> beneficial for him. In spotting the talent, you, you can give him a one for that. A one yeah, for that, yeah, for yeah. He's on that. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let's hear your thoughts on that one. The prince, Rema, Ruga, of course, this guy, the Johnson world dynasty, doing their thing right now. What do you think about the prince and of course artist? You know, uh, development, all of those things. I mean, you think that has always been his passion, or the music has always been? that and let's have your thoughts put everything down below i will see you on the next one peace